Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Come on, then, you miserable bastards. How do you get wind of this, old man? We've only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will ya? Now, I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Now, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Quicker if someone helped me. Now, let's see what's inside. <clears throat> okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Most guarded wagon in the country! It's right! Hell, man! 
never let me down. Stay with her. Come on. Get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Huh? Sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Ah! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas! Ah! Bitch, you got me. Ah! Move over! We got more of the bastards on this side. Out of the way, Uncle. Oh, ah! on the right here. Get in there. 
done, Phil. They teach you that move in the army too? Can't you keep it? for 10 goddamn seconds? You got us into this! Shit! Fire! Ah. Ain't you glad now I insisted you come along? Oh, this is it. I'm officially retired. How about we stop robbing Cornwall for a while? I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall. All right? Some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. I had to leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is. Out there, just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay.
All right then. Let's go rob some food. You okay with this spot for now, Mr. McGuire? Ah, oh, sure. I like to keep moving, I do. Give me blood. So, what do you think of this place? Better than your little hermit camp, right? Oh, it's wonderful, Arthur. Thank you Ready for asking. Ready when you are. Yep. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. <laughs> You need help there, old man? Come on. It's this way. On me. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah, and Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I uh, guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining. And their guns still shoot. So I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh... 
Hey, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have a some. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. A whack. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. I think I see something. Into the avenue, between the tree. Come on. We can get a view on him from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. This could be promised. What do you got? Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. You can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Idiot. Yeah! Go, go! Let's haul! Come on. G up! Fall in. Riders, 
Coming our way. Keep it together. Hey! Stop! What's a black fella doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons! to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. It's my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... No, but nothing. I mean, Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Anything about us? You joining us? No. It was just uh, locals, a local problem. A fella I used to know. Okay. Well, would you please try to keep away from old people while we're getting this much attention? I understand, boss. And I'm sorry for being foolish. It was an old thing, and my emotions got the better of me. Thank you. Dutch? Hey, you have you. Hi. You boys are my family now. Don't smile, your face might crack. Has that badge gone to your head? Nothing like an angry woman to brighten up the place. Who do you think you are? Just what we were missing. This is oh. getting real old now. Not in the mood. You're welcome. How much thanking does one man need? You owe me. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. What is it? 
We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill... This better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, hey, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. He lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Follow me. This big can't go wrong plan of yours? Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Need a work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey! I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. 
I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already riffed me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that, but little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk, and before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Hold on, so, man. thinking this through. You rob Cornwall's train, but shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So, what's going on with these two families? The Grays and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. If it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. Never can resist a scam, those two. Dutch already managed to get us deputized. But we got the biggest price on our hands west of Chicago, and now we're working for the law. That'll have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Keep it cool and follow me, fellas. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? So, which one? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. Okay. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? He'd break my heart. He <laughs> <You> really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. 
We got this. Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. Would you care to? I'm with child, and it's. I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn hands up! This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody move! No, Erna. Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you. Here, unlock the door. Okay, the door's unlocked. Oh, what you think we're here to fight? No, no, no! Open the goddamn vault! Oh. Open it! Oh. Oh. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move. Open the goddamn door. Hurry up! I... I'm going as fast as I can. Too goddamn uh. slow! Son uh. of a bitch, hurry up! Come on! Make sure the suit behaves himself in here. Come here. <clears throat> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. <gasps> now you shut the hell up and be still. I'll go check the front. Hey, keep still. If I see that leg move again, you get a bullet in it. Not much. This is taking too long. Come on, come on. Fast as I can. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Gentlemen, hurry! We seem to have some company. Sorry, partner. <clears throat> Shit! Hurry up! We got the I heard! Go on! It's over! We got you cornered! I said come out now! What do we do? I don't know. Give me a second. If the shooting starts, you're all dead! I'll go. Follow me. What are you insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake! Get out of there, miss! Sorry.
lost me. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Yep. This is Downs. Yeah. husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. I just heard that Adler woman wants to cut your dick off and feed it to her horse. They sure have the lawman attitude down. I told her it wouldn't make much of a meal. Will you please leave me alone? I wouldn't sleep too deep if I was you. Just get away from me. I beg you for saying maybe 
Fuck you, silly man. Oh, no, no. Well, if I was five years younger, or a thousand dollars richer, well, I'd marry you. Make a dishonest woman of you, I would. <laughs> and that'd be the best decision I ever I took. I should have broken your neck long ago. You're a fine woman. Oh, you keep it hidden under that sour vinegar face, nasty acid tongue. But I know that's just the rose's thorns. <laughs> you revolting old you bastard. You tongue flatterer How do you no get like mistake. This? Don't oh, play him I like that. The truth, Come on. I must get Why are you back wearing to my that work? badge around here? Don't give me a reason. <laughs> oh, there's something about that woman. Sweet and sour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I ain't giving you the satisfaction. We knew sooner or later the enemy would be coming down the line of Hachi if they wanted to take some And sure enough, one morning we woke to the distant sound, the boom of a cannon. Next thing we know. There's grenades raining down on us, modified artillery shells. Leave a man with the most horrific wounds, just like nothing you ever seen. And then I get blown up into the air, and I'm as high as a house. And then everything... Enough of your old stories, you idiots! Uh, anyone here? I'm going right to it's a free country, here. ain't it? I can stay right here! Shit! Somebody finish this bastard!